Uh, yeah, bang bang right hook. Just a little uh, a little video. Uh, I watched um, Freddie Foreman uh, about an hour ago doing a podcast years ago. Yeah, and to see Freddie Foreman like he is uh, now to what he used to be, uh, it's a, it's a shame. Yeah, uh, he looks he looks he looks really really ill. Yeah. But uh, he's still a powerful big man, yeah, as as not like he was. But, you know, like, age is a really, really bad thing, you know. Uh, one, minute you're, one minute you're somebody, powerful, big, uh, you know, everybody's fighting at you. Next minute, you're nobody, you know what I mean? It's just the um, way life is. Every, we've all got to get old, yeah? But so when I see Fred, like, looking like he was looking... I couldn't believe it, mate. I thought, fucking hell, man, look at this guy. This guy that, that everybody was fighting the Fred, petrified. I mean, the craze used Freddie Foreman to do most of their work, yeah? To hurt people. But Freddie Foreman was the most important person in in their company, yeah? I mean, they had, well, they have, I don't know, 10, 20 men wrapped around them, but Freddie Foreman was the number one. You know, everybody, everybody, I mean, I used to hear uh, Ronnie Bender uh, when I was in Chelmsford prison talk about Freddie Foreman. I used to hear Frankie Fraser talk about Freddie Foreman. You know, Mickey Green uh, had quite a lot to say about Freddie Foreman. He said he used to come, he's been down his club. You know, Freddie Foreman was a, a, a guy that his presence, you know, you felt as soon as he was somewhere, you felt his presence, you know what I mean? And you knew. You know, you you said the wrong word. You was in trouble, but you can imagine, can't you, him coming to your club with that presence he had and the power he had. Yeah, you knew how far to go, but you can imagine how the guy feels now. Yeah, he's uh, you know, it's a shame. Someone told me that he's in a home now, you know, and um, it's it's a terrible shame, mate. That someone so like someone so some. Someone so uh, respected like that it now lives in a home, yeah? It's a shame, man. It's a, it's a terrible, terrible shame, you know? But, you know, the Richardsons, uh, they, they, everybody was, like, wary of Foreman, yeah? Everybody. Jimmy Moody, I mean, there's a, they're, they're, everybody's... There was a big thing about Jimmy Moody, Freddie Foreman. Was Freddie Foreman involved uh, with the shooting... You know of of um, of Jimmy Moody, uh, you know because Jimmy Moody was very. I mean, Jimmy Moody was very very powerful, you know. And w was he involved with anything to, to do with Moody? You know what I mean? Because he done him in, in a way that Freddie Foreman worked. That's how Freddie Foreman works, yeah. Yeah, it's just like um, I don't know. It's just a shame. Uh, someone said that Big Z, when he bigs. Um, Evidently, give Freddie Foreman a lot of money uh, to help him out to get out of this country. You know, all stories, you hear little stories. Uh, whether or not it's true is another thing. But Freddie Foreman, so powerful, so big, right around all the big companies, mate, he didn't muck about. One person, mate. He was a one-man army, and he was a very dangerous, dangerous man, you know. I remember seeing him, uh, the first one I went to box on, the, uh, the Frankie Warren's big show box on it's on it's on all the uh, YouTube channels. Uh, if you look there, you'll see Freddie Foreman as a young man, yeah. And I remember seeing Freddie Foreman. When I was there uh, with Terry Downs. Terry Downs is to the right. Don't forget uh, Terry Downs and Freddie Foreman have a bit of uh, words uh, when uh, Johnny Allen knocks out uh, Jimmy J uh, Johnny Johnny Allen Johnny Allen knocks out uh, uh, Johnny Binden outside the club, you know, so uh, there was a few words said. So when Terry Downs was there, I suppose, and Freddie Foreman was there, I suppose there was a bit of a conflict, you know, but Terry Downs is no mug, is he? I mean, he can over fight, but you can't fight a bullet, as they say, you know what I mean? But uh, Freddie Foreman, everybody was petrified around him, mate. Everybody was petrified around him. But as I said, you know, I hear, I heard through my uncle Ronnie Brown, yeah, that my uncle Ronnie Brown was one of the ones that got um, we got Big Z over the wall uh, for, for, on that lorry, on that van, big van, was one of the ones that pulled him up, yeah? And when we were in conversation around my father-in-law's house, he was just saying that um, 
that Freddie Foreman had something to do with Big Z and the money was what went, but he got a few bob to do, do something. I can imagine that, you know? Big, powerful man like Freddie Foreman. I mean, he would could do anything for a pound out, mate. Anyway, bang, bang, rail. Just a little, just a little uh, video about Freddie Foreman, and he was a diamond, a gentleman, and it's just, just a shame to see him like that. Nice one.